Do you know the easiest form of depersonalization to completely recover from is the weed induced depersonalization? You are lucky, it's different and easy to recover from in comparison to other cases. Around 80% of depersonalization cases that I have observed are weed induced. So many weed induced depersonalization cases out there, right? One of the characteristics of any form of recreational drugs like marijuana is to heighten the senses. These drugs like marijuana makes us see more, hear more, or feel more and experience more. When we smoke weed, we have a heightened sense of emotion. Now let me tell you about the science behind why it happens. There's a component in our brain which protects our brain from certain limits which are not supposed to reach to the brain. This component is known as blood-brain barrier. Evolution knew that brain is the most important part of the body and it had to do everything to protect it. So we put all forms of toxic waste in our body daily. If all of these toxic substances would cross our brain, we would be walking zombies as of now. So the mechanism of blood-brain barrier is to prevent certain elements from going in your brain which are not supposed to go there. Now weed can easily pass through your blood-brain barrier and that is why you get high when you smoke weed. It reacts uh, with the synaptic connections of your brain. But why it makes your emotions so heightened is the fact that it affects an area of the brain which is known as amygdala. So there's this part of the brain amygdala which is responsible for emotional response. And that explains why smoking weed sometimes makes you feel like sad and you get that bad trip or it gives you some form of unprecedented emotional response that time. As the amygdala becomes more reactive uh, when weed gets in your brain, that time even if you're experiencing a little bit of stress or fear or anxiety it gets so exaggerated because amygdala is attacked and it's overreactive that time due to the extreme stress and trauma that time the volume of amygdala immediately increases it becomes bigger this phenomena is known as amygdala hijack this overreaction to stress is why precisely you feel you know, you still feel emotionally overwhelmed next morning before you had panic attack due to smoking weed. Your emotional state is still overwhelmed and it keeps on like that. And then you put the fuel on fire. You add more stress to it. Instead of removing, recovering it back to its original state, the smaller volume, amygdala states, stays bloated. Scientists have observed that meditation masters and monks have smaller and shrink amygdala and that is why they are able to withstand a lot of stress and it's associated with awareness concentration and decision making after a long practice in meditation their amygdala gets so small and they are way better at handling stress than most of us this is the scientific explanation of why you stay emotionally overwhelmed even after you got depersonalized by smoking weed if you want to shrink your amygdala back to the original state, watch my other video where I'm talking about breathing techniques to bring it down.